What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. It's time to take a look at one of the first continuity camera mounts for the iPhone. Belkin was one of the first few manufacturers to come out and say, hey, we're making this. This is gonna enable you to use your iPhone as a mount with your Macs. And I am definitely excited about this. Obviously people have had makeshift mounts for a little while now that they've been using with their iPhones to make this work and get an idea of how it actually operates. But here it is. It's telling you, as you can see here, mount your iPhone securely onto your Mac notebook to utilize continuity camera features in the latest version of Mac OS for FaceTime, capturing comments, content, video conferencing, and much more. Let's go ahead and open this up. Then we're gonna get it set up so you guys can actually see how it works. Um, I'm sure you guys probably have seen some other videos before, but again, this is one of the newer first mounts that Apple has uh, started selling in their stores, courtesy of Belkin. And Belkin has been around for a long time and not new to the Apple ecosystem at all. You can see they're actually even selling this as a standalone product too. It's a nice little metal ring. Um, it is a MagSafe adapter, as you can see here. They want you to be able to use this at any time. Use it as a finger lock like you use pop sockets to hold your phone. And then it's also showing you how you will utilize it with your Mac. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So it does come in two different colorways. This is the white version. There is a black as well. And you can see that's how you would attach it to the actual computer and utilizing it in the other way, it's showing you as a ring holder for your iPhone. So pretty simple on the back. It just has those magnets for MagSafe. Let's go ahead and stick it right on. And yeah, it's pretty strong actually. So they're making it sound like you can use it any way you want. If you want to carry it and leave this on, just lays flat or when you're ready to use it as a webcam, you can do so like this by attaching it on your device. Probably need to set it like that. But yeah, that is a quick look at what it is. That's pretty sharp, I like it. It is actually a lot stronger than some MagSafe accessories that I've used. Um, really, again, confident enough to shake it like that. And you can see it's not moving anywhere. Actually, it could be nice to even just use it as a tabletop mount or stand. Hmm, all right. Could be a good multi-use case uh, item. Let me go ahead and actually get this set up and show you how that continuity camera works. All right, you guys can see we have our MacBook Pro open. We have our iPhone 14 Pro Max unlocked. Just gonna set that down for a minute. What you're gonna wanna do is you can go into any video app. We'll use Photo Booth. It'll automatically default to the internal camera. What's going on, guys? We'll go ahead and pop this baby down. And remember, it does utilize the back camera, so. We're gonna go ahead and set that right on top there. And let me make sure that that is secure. All right, all you're gonna do is in the settings bar, go up to camera, iPhone 14 Pro Max here, and it should, you hear that beep, and that's telling you it's now using the iPhone camera instead of the internal one. As you can see, the light is off there. So this is the view we're getting. And what really Apple is preaching here is, if you go under your control center, video effects, this is where you're gonna find a lot of your newer settings for center stage, portrait, studio light, and desk view. If you do center stage, now you can see the camera auto adjusted and it'll try to follow me somewhat around the room where it can to keep me in frame. Then you have portrait that'll blur obviously the background and you can see that's actually working really good considering the iPhone right here is in front of me as well. And if we wanna turn that off then turn on studio light, you can see it is giving somewhat of a difference in visual right there. So what I'm gonna say next is, desk view is probably one of the most exciting new features as well. And what that's gonna do is use the ultra wide camera and come up with this new app. And it's asking where the desk is. So I've obviously had this lit back a little too far. If we slide it right here, hypothetically, you can see we're gonna to wanna to start desk view and it's giving you that top down look. Now you do have the option here to zoom in or out, as you can see, but obviously this is somewhat of a warped image. Uh, you can see how long your fingers get, but if you put something in front of it, you can see how it's actually working. Pretty neat, not perfect by any means. This should actually be a little wider to give you a better visual. Instead, it's kind of hitting over here on the floor, um, but if you lean it back, it's going the opposite direction. So not perfect by any means, but the possibilities are huge for what this can give you. 
If you wanna get out of this, obviously you're gonna go back to your settings and take care of it that way. But that's it for now, guys. Pretty neat update. Really cool how they're integrating this. Again, this was more to show you what this baby was gonna do for you. It does work about 60 feet away, so you can see if we wanna bring it up, you can see how warped it looks. But yeah, it does work. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all for this one guys thanks for watching thumbs up this video subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one peace